Yeah. He's so faithful. Amen. And I have a word for you today from the Lord. And I'm excited to share this word. As I was uh, meditating on the Lord, and I'd be waiting, just waiting from heaven to give, bring you a word. And just meditating on the Lord, He was reminding me, I've, I've been going to Hebrews 4, and yes. just meditating there. And Hebrews 4, just such a wonderful passage of Scripture. On entering the rest of the Lord, because God wants us in a place of rest. Yes, amen. He wants us to live in that place of perfect peace. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I was thinking about that, the Lord reminded me that before we can enter His rest, we got to know that He's a good God. Yes, amen. Yeah. If you don't know He's a good God, you're not going to enter His rest. Yeah. So when you know that character and that nature of God, when you know God, you know He's good. Yes. He is a good, good Father. And He takes care of us. And He takes care of you. And He loves you. And when you feel like that, you know the Word of God says that the goodness of God leads us to repentance. Hmm. And if you look at the Greek word for repentance, it means change the way you think. Yeah. So the goodness of God leads us to change the way we think. Yeah. We start to think different. We start to see ourselves in the light of who God says we are. Yes. We start Amen. to see ourselves in light of His presence and His power. Amen. And the goodness of God. So when things happen, you don't get mad. You don't get sad. You don't get frustrated if you look to God. Yeah. And you realize God's yeah. good. There's a purpose. There's a plan. Because God has a purpose and a plan.
Yes. You know, you think of the atmosphere when we were praying this week and we were texting backwards and forwards. I love the group text because you can send a text and everybody responds and you get on board with everybody's faith. Candace had responded and talked about, you know, Rhonda Bonke was here. And we've been to many of these meetings. We missed his meeting here when he was here now. But he talked about how the atmosphere is charged for victory. You know, you realize even today when we're praising, the atmosphere here on this balcony That's has been right. charged yeah. with praise to yeah. our yeah. Almighty yeah. God. Yes. 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 Did you realize that Hallelujah. in the atmosphere, there is a realm of yes. rest. Yes. It's a place. Yes. And in Psalm 91, in the Old Testament, we read that scripture that in Psalm 91, verse 1, one of our famous, wonderful passages that we know, that he that abideth in the shadow of the Almighty, that's a place of rest in the yes. Old Testament. Thank you. But now in the New Testament, Jesus paid the price. Amen. Amen. He died on the cross. Yes. And he shed his blood. And he rose. He paid the price for your deliverance, your protection, your provision, your salvation. He paid it all. So that you could enter yes, by faith. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Yeah. We have, there's a lot of ministries that, that, that keep the Sabbath. You know, Jesus became our Sabbath. He is our rest. Yes, amen. He is our rest. When you put on the mind of Christ, when you take your fourth captive to the obedience of Christ, you begin to think different and you enter His rest. My good friend told me, he described it this way, he said, when you when you're dealing with something and you want to enter the rest of God, you take the Word of God and you begin to speak God's Word. You begin to declare God's Word. I am more than a conqueror in Christ. Yes. God is with me. I'm not alone. Greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. You, know, you begin to speak the, your favorite passages. Is when you allow God's Word to eclipse your thoughts. Amen. And when your thoughts are totally eclipsed by the Word of God, Wow. Ooh, because then you're not thinking wrong thoughts. And when I was thinking about that, what a wonderful way to put it. That when you think of, we have many eclipses, right? We had one a few months back. When when the moon has passed in front of the sun and there's that shadow, it reminds me of entering into the shadow of the Almighty. Wow. That's right? Because your thoughts, in that place of shadow, is calm and quiet. It's oh. a place. A shadow is a place. And when Jesus stands in front of you in the situation and you step into the shadow of the Almighty, He's calm. Wow. He's calm. There's no distractions. It's a place of perfect And God wants us to enter the, the, the realm of the Amen. Thank you. I was thinking about the disciples in the boat. When Jesus was, who's that storm? And he stood up and he said, Peace be still. He commanded that storm. And there was calm. You know, those disciples could lay in that boat. They were in his presence. But they were in a place of perfect. Yes, amen. There's a realm of his rest. Yes, amen. And in that place, we begin to declare, It is well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. It is well. That's the place the enemy can't mess with your mind. You are in the shadow of your mind. You are in the realm of your mind. And Hebrews 4 says, God is also trust entering in the realm of rest in confident faith. And it says we must be extremely careful to ensure that we embrace all the fullness of that promise so that we fail not to experience it. Mm. The children of Israel never experienced the threat so they crossed over. They were so busy trying to do things their own way. His rest, when we, when we come to Jesus, we stop doing things like that. Right. When you take your thoughts captured, you calm the busyness. And this week we saw this island going to the island. I think that hit my heart the most when I saw the panic in the people. You go in the shops and everything's empty. There's nothing on the shelves. People are panicking. I read someone I've heard on Facebook, a Christian wrote, We're so
so tired. We've worked so hard to get ready for the storm. We're like, thank God.
Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you next week. Share this word with your friends. God is a place and presence for them. Amen. God